Welcome to our tutorial on the Zelta Zip 45G phone. 45G is a middle grade model of our lineup. It's got a decent sized screen and lots of buttons you can customize. This is a phone that's convenient and comfortable to use if you get a large number of phone calls. It has a dedicated EHS headset port, but it also supports Bluetooth headsets with an optional adapter. If you ever need to place this phone somewhere without a wired internet connection, we offer an optional Wi-Fi adapter also. If your company has our UC client Zach, all our phones are completely compatible with it, so you can control your phone calls from your desktop application or by pressing buttons on the phone. For this video, we will be using the phone buttons only. Check out our videos on Zach to find out how to control your phone calls from the desktop application. We will start with the phone's layout. Zip 45G has 360 by 160 pixel display. This display is backlit. It will light up whenever you press any button. The four buttons under the screen correspond to the keys currently displayed on the screen, and what they do varies based on the situation. For example, in this photo, the phone is in idle state. The options are menu, do not disturb, pick up a call from park, and directory for save phone numbers. The top three buttons on the left of the phone are line keys. You can have up to three simultaneous calls, one call active and the other two on hold. When you are talking on the call on line one, the key will light up solid green. If you place the call on hold, the light will start flashing. The rest of the buttons on the left and right of the screen can be configured to have a variety of functions by your system administrator. What kind of features can you program? There are many different options. A dedicated speed dial, busy LAN field to monitor the status of another phone, a button to log you into a call group to get group calls, or a button for initiating on-demand call recording. You can designate a button to initiate a page or to monitor a particular park slot. We have a separate video of custom buttons for zip phones on Zoltis.com. Anyway, back to our phone. When you get a new call, the message waiting indicator in the top right of the screen will flash. The light will also flash continuously as long as you have a voice message that you haven't checked yet. Along the right side of the phone's main panel are a few more useful buttons. To check that message, click the middle button. To mute your audio, use the mute key, then tap it again to unmute. To quickly call back a number you just dialed, click redial. Then there is the speaker button on the bottom, and if you are using a headset, you can use the headset button to switch the call audio to headset. You will see these in action later in the video. And on the bottom left here, you can adjust the volume. To dial a number, there is the dial pad, which is self-explanatory. And when you finish dialing, press the send key to initiate a call. It works like a cell phone send button. Lastly. There are directional keys to navigate the phone menus. At the center of the keys is OK and underneath is cancelled. It's used to exit menus or end calls. So now that you know the layout of your phone, let's see it in action. Let's start with an incoming call. To answer it, you can pick up the receiver or you can click the speaker key to answer a call on speaker. If you're using a headset, you can answer the call with your headset by clicking the headset button, or you can click the button on the headset. To make an outbound call, dial the number and pick up the receiver, or you can click the send key or the speaker key. This way, the call will immediately ring on speaker. And click on the headset button to hear the call's audio in your headset. To end the call, you can hang up the receiver or tap the speaker key to end the call if you're using the speaker. Now, let's see what you need to do to check a missed call. The message waiting indicator is flashing to show that I have a new voice message and the display has a note about a missed call. This soft key is now view. I can click on it to see the caller ID of the missed call or I can view my recent call history by clicking on the up key of the directional pad. Use the directional keys to navigate this menu, and you can click to make a call right here on this screen. To listen to the voicemail message, click on the voicemail button. You will need to provide your voicemail password. 
Your first time accessing the voicemail box, you will be prompted to set up a password and record your name and greeting. This is a very straightforward process. Just follow the instructions and it will only take a few minutes. Now let's see what other options you have while on an active call. You can place the call on hold with the hold soft key. This will cause the line to flash. To go back to the call, press the resume key. I can park a call so that a coworker can pick it up from another device. I press the park button and the screen shows the number of the park slot. For example, this call is in slot 01. To pick up a call, press the soft key and type 01 for the park slot and then send. You can transfer calls to both coworkers and numbers outside your organization. There are several ways to transfer a call. Which way you use depends on whether you want to transfer the call immediately, whether you want to check if the number you are transferring to is valid first, or you may want to talk with the other person before completing the transfer. For example, I'm on a call with a customer who needs help from our billing department. I'm going to transfer her to our billing group directly. I click the transfer key here. This places the call on hold so I don't need to make any small talk while I remember the right extension. I type the extension for billing and tap B transfer. That's B for blind transfer, by the way. Very easy, right? In the next example, I'm going to check if there's someone around in the billing department before I transfer the customer. For example, I'm not sure what their hours of operations are, and I don't want the customer's call to end up in their voicemail. I'll do a semi-attended transfer. I click the transfer key, type the billing extension, then press send. Great, the line is ringing, so there's someone there to answer the call. Now I press the transfer key again to send my caller to the billing extension. Now in this next case, I'm not certain who to transfer this caller to. For example, if I'm not sure whether this caller needs to speak to billing or maybe accounting, I start by pressing transfer, then dial the billing extension and send. This time, I'll wait until the person on the other line answers. Hi Tessa, I've got a customer on the line who needs to change the credit card on file. Oh, you can help? Great! I'll press that transfer key and send the call to you. Or if you can't help this customer, I'll press the X key to cancel the transfer. The call is back on hold and I can press transfer again and try another extension. Another important feature available from Zip45G is an easy way to start a three-person conference. For example, if I need to bring in my manager on a call with a customer, I'll start by placing the call with the customer on hold by pressing conference soft key, then dial my manager's extension and send. Hey John, I need a little help dealing with this client. Can I conference you in? Great, thanks. I'll press this conf key and now all three of us are talking together. From your phone, you can access a directory of the contacts on the MX by pressing the directory button, then contacts. From here, you can initiate a call directly to the contact. Very useful if you can't remember the person's extension number. And the last feature I'm going to talk about on this video is call forwarding. It's a very convenient feature if, for example, you are going on vacation and want all your calls forwarded to your department call group. Press Menu and Find Features and select Call Forwarding. You can forward all incoming calls with Always, forward calls only when you're busy with another call, or forward calls that you don't answer. We will do Always. I'll switch this line to on and on the second line, enter the extension of the department. Then press the save soft key to initiate call forwarding. When I get back from my vacation, all I need to do is go back to this menu and set the first line on this menu to off to disable forwarding. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching.